Welcome to Theo Cooks. Today we're going to be making salt and pepper squid, which is basically deep fried squid, Asian style. Now squid comes in different sizes, and the general rule of thumb is the smaller the squid, the younger it is, which means the more tender it will be, and what you won't be eating is a load of deep fried elastic bands. The bigger it gets, the tougher it will get, and that's great for slow cooking, but for today we're going short, sharp and fast. A bit like me. First, let's get the squid going. I've got in here some squid, you've got some testicles, and we've got the general, the, the sort of the tubes of squid, which is the body. And all we're going to do with this is just cut this up into the standard rings that you see. And the coating of this is what's going to make this squid crispy. And to do that, we're going to use one part flour, one part corn flour. The ratio works, it will come out crispy and delicious. A heaps tablespoon of plain flour, maybe two, two heaps of corn flour. So that goes in there. So we want to add a bit of flavour to this flour as well, so that the pieces of squid, when you bite into them, they've got, they've got a bit of heat going for it as well, which is what salt and pepper squid is all about. So to do that, I'm going to add a mix of different chilies, basically, into this. And you can afford to be very liberal with this, because 90% of what you're going to put into this flour, you're not going to eat anyway, it's going to fall to the sides. So we've put a heaped tablespoon of the chilli flour, we're going to put about the same, about a tablespoon of ground chilli. And you can already see now that this flour is taken on a, it's taken on a red haze. So to, to make the flour stick to the squid, I'm literally going to drop the squid into some egg wash. Now I've got some hot oil in here, uh, to, well, the way to test this, and I don't, I mean, I don't have a deep fat fryer, I don't know how many people do have a deep fat fryer, so the easiest way to do it is pour some regular uh, vegetable oil into the pot, put it on a heat, and then to test it, yeah, just drop some flour, you can hear that sizzle, it's not smoking, it's about the right temperature, it'll be fine. So, we give our squid a bit of a stir in the egg wash, and then I'm going to drop this straight into the flour mixture, Make sure that all the squid is covered, because without the flour, you're not going to get crispy squid. And that's what you want. You want that sort of deep fried, that crispiness, which is going to go great with the Asian dressing that we're going to do in a few minutes. Now, squid is possibly the fastest known food to man. By the time I've put all this squid in, I'll be taking it straight out. It will literally be that quick. Let's start dropping them in. Now you can hear it sizzle straight away. So this has probably been in now for maybe a minute, if that. So now's the time to take it out. So we're just shaking off a bit of the excess oil. Ideally you'd want a kitchen towel to put on here. I ran out, so we're gonna go without. So what you've got here is deep fried calamari. You can squeeze a bit of lemon over that, a little bit of alioli. Happy days. Don't need anything else in life. For the dressing, the stuff we're going to put over the top of this to make this a true salt and pepper squid is really simple. You're talking spring onions, red chilli, garlic, lime, we're going to add some more chilli flakes, and I've got some lovely Sichuan peppercorns as well that we're all going to put in the mix together. So we've got another pot here, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it. I'm using the Honestly Good olive oil. To make the dressing, I've got a plate. I'm going to put on my chopped red chilli, my spring onions, my garlic, a pinch of chilli flakes, and about a teaspoon of the Sichuan peppercorns. Really, you want to grind these together, you want them to break them down a little bit so you don't get massive chunks. I find the Sichuan gives it a whole different flavour, it's almost sort of a numbing agent in a way, um, which will be really distinct when you eat it. So I'm just breaking these up, let me show you what this looks like before we pour the oil on it. So the oil's really hot and we're just going to pour that straight onto here. You can hear it sizzle. Give that a stir. Oh, you can smell it straight away. All the flavours there, you can smell. 
Now we've actually only poured probably a few tablespoons of oil on this, so we don't really want too much more. Now that's done, I'm with a fork, I'm just going to scrape all the main bits onto the squid and I'm going to leave out as much of the oil as possible. Grab yourself a little bit of coriander, fresh coriander, roughly chop it, sprinkle that on top, get your lime, give that a little squeeze as well, and you have here perfect salt and pepper squid Asian style. So that's me, Theo, doing salt and pepper squid Asian style. Hope you enjoyed it, share it, and this is dedicated to Justine who's been asking me to do salt and pepper squid for ages. So Justine, hope you enjoy. Cheers. Are we still filming?